Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're just going to be checking out how to make an e-commerce website. This was a highly requested video, so I decided to make it for you guys. So let's just get right into it. So on your WordPress website, you're just going to go to the plugins page and then upload plugin. You're then going to go to this website, which will be linked in the description for you. You're going to download this for free. Let it, let it download the zip file. You're going to keep it in a zip file. Do not unzip it. And we're just going to choose that file out of our downloads. And install it to our website. So WooCommerce is, in my opinion, the best plugin for your website, your WordPress website, to have any type of a store on it. See here all these big brands that are using it that are pretty cool. Um, it's very easy to use and it's very fast to set up. So it's really good for newbies and even for advanced users. So we're just going to activate the plugin. And now you see it greets us with the run the setup wizard. We're going to go ahead and do that. So let's hit let's go. Page shut up. Yes, we want the store to have a shop, a cart, check out in my account. All that is fine. Okay, then you're going to choose your location. So United, oops, United States. And you're just going to find your state. Currency, depending on wherever the hell you are. So US dollars, pounds, and inches, that's fine for me. Um, if you're selling digital items, just keep those as default. Uh, they won't come in, they won't cause any problems. Will you be shipping products? We'll put no, we're gonna be doing uh, digital sales tax. We'll put no for now. Again, all this applicable to you. Do it as you need. Hit the payments. So I suggest using PayPal because it's the easiest. So you'll just put your PayPal email here to accept payments. You could also do check payments, cash on delivery, and bank transfers. I usually turn on bank transfers because some people prefer that, although it does take uh, about three days for you to get the money. So that means they'll have to be waiting for you to deliver your product as well. But again, the easiest is PayPal. Let's see if we will just skip this step for now. Store is ready. We're going to hit allow. Then we can create our first product. So on the product page, it's very similar to the, the default page builder or post builder. So we're just going to call this a app. So this is going to be our app that we're selling. And then we're going to just write a little bit about it in this paragraph here. Um, this is a great new app for iPhone. Something like that. And then down here at the price, we'll say 99 cents. Then let's just say it was on sale. So we'll put like 69 cents. Then you can also schedule the sale for a certain time. We're just going to put it now. Now we're also going to click on virtual and downloadable to show that it is an app and it is a virtual product, not something that's actually being shipped. So if you select down, downloadable, you get this option to add the file. We're just going to add the Woo, WooCommerce uh, plugin as our product. Oops, WooCommerce. Let that upload to your database. Then you're just going to insert the file URL. Download limit, we'll keep it as unlimited. Never standard product. Applications have software. We'll just put we'll just put that for now. Actually, we'll just put standard product. So we could we don't need to mess with the custom fields. And then we could also add a short description. Game. Great new game. 
Okay, disable Facebook comments. That is actually an extra plugin I have. So you won't see any of these three boxes unless you have those plugins. So next we're gonna to want to do a featured image. So we're gonna set the featured image. We'll just do this rabbit and a product gallery. We'll just put this in there, get another one, and then one more. There we go. Now let's go to inventory. We're gonna hit yes to manage stock and we'll say we only have 25 downloads for beta or something. Then we'll allow back orders, but notify the customer in stock and sold individually. We'll make, we'll make it so they can only purchase uh, one product per order. So linked products. So if you have multiple products, you could give them an upsell, something that's a better product, product than they're buying right now. Something they may want instead, and then a groups of products. So tributes, we don't need to mess with that. And we could add a purchase note here. We'll just put, thanks so much. And then we'll have enable reviews checked on. And I think we'll go ahead and also make this a full width just to look better. Then we'll publish the product. And then view the product. <clears throat> See, I used a pretty low resolution image here, so oops didn't mean to do that uh, but you see we have the title we have the price with the sale we have the short description the stock and if you scroll down we have the whole description reviews and again here's the gallery images which you could scroll through very nicely here so that's your product now how do you uh, showcase your product say on your home page well we're going to create a new page to show you how to do just that we're going to enable the Divi Builder, of course, and we're going to put welcome to our store. And we're going to just go ahead and add a full width section with a header. And we're going to put Great Games Inc. We make games. I'm going to make that white. Keep it left. Um, Use parallax effect. We'll add a overlay color of a transparent black. And we'll add an image. We'll just do this one. Move this to the top. And then here we're going to add, add our shop. So we're going to do the full length. And there would be a, there's a shop option built into Divi, and this automatically uses the uh, WooCommerce uh, plugin. So you don't have to do anything to set this up. You basically just put, we'll just do recent products, and we'll just put this to say three. We'll do one column. We'll do by low to high pricing. And then we'll just save that and then we'll publish this page. We're going to view it in a new tab. And you see here we have the title or the welcoming page and then we have our shop. So we have one really giant one. That's because we just have one product. So if we go and add a few new products, we're just going to copy the one we already made. You see we have a products option now. So we'll just go to all of our products. And then we're going to add a new one and just call this one tab two. Just put in some random text. We'll make this one $2.99, not on sale. We're not going to do any of that. We're just going to add a image. and publish. We're also going to edit this product real fast and change the featured image on it. So we'll hit edit, edit product. We'll remove the current featured image and get a more high resolution one. We'll set it and then update. And we'll create one more product. 
Map three. We can, oops, this is a post, not a product. So we'll go to products again. Add product. App three. Some random text. Some random text. This one's going to be a whopping fifty nine or fifty dollars ninety nine cents. Featured image. And publish. So now if we go to the page we made. Search it up. Search welcome. Here it is. Welcome to our store. We'll open that in a new tab and check it out. And you see we have our three products. They're very large because we set it to a one column. So if we edit the page and make it say three columns, three columns, and then we update that and view the page. See, we have a nice clean little area with your products. You'll notice that the images may be different sizes depending on the images that you have used. Uh, basically, to fix this, you could either go into the settings and set a default size or just make sure you use the same resolution images, which is a bit easier. Um, you could also, if we go back, you could just add, you could just basically add this little shopper area into your website that you've already built so that you don't have to build a whole new website just because you want to start selling on your website. So if we go to WooCommerce, so you can manage all of your orders and everything. Also in the dashboard, you now have this WooCommerce status, which is very helpful for you. Um, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just needed to grab some custom code which will be in the description so we're going to add that to the website by going to the dashboard we're going to go down to the divi theme options we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to the custom css you see i already pasted it in you're going to paste that in from the description then you go save and go back to your page that you put your store on then now you see when you scroll over it you get this nice zoom in uh, animation which is really nice add some nice UX to your website just click on it to go to the product um, so I hope this video helped you guys out if you have any other questions or video recommendations slash requests be sure to drop a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one